Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, we're going to cover the move with triad function. So if we have a component that we kind of want close to its uh, final resting place, maybe before we uh, made it down here, we might want to just move it. Uh, we could free drag it, certainly. Um, another way to move it, which I like a little bit better, is if you right mouse click and say move with triad and here's why I like it. Um, we're given some very concrete ways to move a component. Um, one thing you can do is pick one of the principal arrows and you can drag it along this ruler. Now as your mouse moves close to the ruler you can snap to uh, integer values pretty easily. Um, as your mouse moves um, away from the ruler further away, uh, you tend to pit, pick up a smaller, finer number. So that's the uh, translate aspect to this. Now the other thing we can do is we can rotate by selecting one of the rings. We can rotate the component in the same manner. So put your mouse close to the ruler. You can snap to uh, a, you know, a, an even degree. As you move it further away, uh, you can pick up you know, a fraction of a degree. So uh, we'll position this roughly in the position that we would mate it, and that just kind of makes the mating go a little bit easier. Let's uh, do one more movement to get it closer. And um, if we select a wing, that lets us move it within the plane of that wing. Okay, if I go with a, another wing, Okay, I can move it within the plane of that wing. So hopefully that gives you a, a little bit of idea how the triad is uh, designed to be used. <clears throat> One more thing, if the triad is not in the position you would like it to be in, you know, perhaps it's in the middle of the solid, it's hard to see, you can drag the center point and move it out. Now, if you add the Alt key, you can begin to snap to edges to align to. In this case, uh, I'll alt drag it to this edge, and then we can move it along its own axis. You can also right mouse click the sphere, and we have several other options to align to by selecting a component origin, an assembly origin, or we can go in and select another entity altogether. This is Tim Roberts at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching this quick tip video.